My name is Ioane Ojan Stan, and I will be talking about uh, Apache James. How many people of you are, uh, do you know about Apache James? Cool. So, uh, uh, about myself, I'm a technology and free software enthusiast. I'm an Apache James committer. Uh, I love Debian. I'm a uh, fresh CTO of Xemplar. It's a new company focused on developing tools for the cloud. And uh, I'm also a former firefighter officer. So um, in this talk, uh, well, about James is a set of libraries that uh, help you work with email. And uh, if you use Java or other JVM languages and uh, have problems with email, then try out uh, James, the James project. So these are almost uh, all the components of, uh, that make, that are part of the James project. I'll uh, get into each a bit and after that move to scale. So uh, James mailets. The mailets are uh, basically uh, the, what differentiate uh, James from other email servers. So mailets are uh, essentially an email processing agent. They're a, a matcher and a mailet. Uh, they're a flexible and powerful way to process email. They're all, they are an alternative to proc mail, and uh, you, you get uh, a lot of benefits of using them. You can access the envelope, which uh, you can do with proc mail and other processing uh, stuff. So. Uh, uh, mailets are split into a bunch of packages. You have crypto mailets for s uh, cryptographic encryption and signing of emails. You have JC mailets, and you can chain them together to, to form complex pr uh, logic when you process your emails. Uh, to configure them, you, you define processors in the, James is actually a mailet container. So you define processors and uh, you define them using a, a camel domain specific language. They're, it's pretty simple. It's a sample here to, to process email that, that it's identified as uh, containing a virus. So uh, another uh, Apache comp James component is uh, Hoopa. Hoopa is a web, it's a rich web mail interface written in the Google Web Toolkit. Uh, it's, uh, this summer we have a Google Summer of Code project named Hoopa Evolution, and uh, it, a student will work to improve Hoopa. Uh, for now it looks like this. You can access your Gmail, every email account can be accessed uh, by Hoopa. So you can, if you have an IMAP account, you can use Hoopa to, as a web interface to that, that account. Um, Sieve, it's another component. It's basically an implementation of sieve filtering language. So if you need uh, simple filtering ru ru rules in your application, you can use JSieve to, to implement sieve in your application. Uh, JSPF is a library for implementing a standard policy framework, uh, avoiding spam and stuff like that. Uh, JD Kim is used to fight spam and phishing. Uh, it uses uh, domain keys identified mail. It's an implementation for that. And uh, well, you can use it as a library in your code if you work with this. Uh, Mime4j is, is probably well known. It's a very good, uh, I think it's a better alternative to Java Mail because it has a uh, much better uh, handling of uh, email messages that are uh, not conformant to the standard. So it will not kill your application or throw an exception when that happens. It has two parsing, uh, two parsing uh, ways, SACS and string parser. Okay, so uh, next is uh, Apache James protocols. The, these are a lightweight generic framework for uh, developing line-based protocols. Most of the uh, uh, SMTP, IMAP are all line based. The client sends a line uh, asking the server for some information and the server responds to uh, one or several lines. So if you have, uh, if you want to develop protocols that fit to this model, try it out. Uh, the mailbox uh, project aims to, it provides an API and some implementation 
that you can use in your application to, to provide, to implement the mailbox pattern. It's basically a, a, a message delivery and message uh, announcement. Uh, we have four implementations. You have, we have a JPA implementation that you can use to plug in your database and store emails in your database. We have a MailDir uh, Java content repository. It uses Apache Jackrabbit for now, but you can plug your own uh, implementation. And uh, I also developed uh, the HBase backend, and you can uh, use it to, to store your emails in an HBase cluster. And it's all, it also has integration with Lucene, so you can uh, pass it. Uh, you can pass James server uh, a directory implementation with its details. But uh, basically, uh, we can index part of the emails. So uh, let's get into some details. The mail, the HBase mailbox implementation. It's basically an HBase client. Uh, it uses RPC connection to talk to the HBase clusters. You just have to supply it with a correct HBase settings uh, configuration file, and it will know where the cluster is on your network, and it will connect and uh, start sending emails there. So uh, the, it's a simple schema design with three tables. Uh, there's also uh, a new project, uh, Google Summer of Code project that I'm mentoring. I'm mentoring a student to we're trying to integrate Lucene with HBase. Uh, some people tried it, and well, we'll hope to to do something good. Uh, this is actually uh, a diagram of how the the mailbox schema is designed. So uh, basically, uh, the mailboxes uh, table and the subscription table are all lightweight. They store uh, metadata. metadata. Uh, the row key for the mailboxes is the mailbox ID, which is uh, currently implemented as a Java UUID, which is a 128 bits, I think, uh, random number. So it will provide a uh, pretty good distribution, which is important when sorting messages, when keeping messages in, uh, distributed across the cluster. Uh, so the, the columns uh, are in, stored in one data column, and we have, we, for each mailbox, we store the count, the last UID, the name of the mailbox, the namespace, the user who owns it, uh, and some other stuff that's, uh, that's in there. Uh, another table is the subscription table. So basically, uh, uh, a user has many mailboxes that it can subscribe to, and it will uh, see when new messages arrive in those mailboxes. So, uh, and the m subscriptions tables uses the username to as a row key, and then the list of ma mailbox IDs uh, as the list of mailboxes to which the user is subscribed. The and the last table, which is the actually the the biggest table in. Uh, in the age base uh, is a table that stores the messages. Uh, it has three, currently it has three column families. Uh, the row key is defined as a compound key uh, formed uh, from the mailbox ID and the uh, message UID. It's actually in uh, reverse uh, order because uh, it allows you to, to scan and, uh, and access the the newest messages first because uh, in email you're interested mostly uh, uh, in the newest emails so when a user fetches his mailbox he will only we can stop at the first 100 messages or something like that so uh, we have the row key uh, and after that we have the three column families. Uh, we have the meta metadata column family, wh which stores uh, data that uh, that mutates. Email messages uh, are essentially immutable, so the message body and the message headers do not change. But uh, there are some flags that change. For example, when you read the email, it will be marked as red in your mailbox. So, uh, so those. That kind of data is stored in the metadata. It's uh, not a lot of data, so it's pretty small. You can keep it in memory in HBase. 
and the uh, two other columns families are the headers and the message body. The idea is that you, for example, the information about uh, an email, like subject, is stored in the headers. And uh, when you display them uh, in your basic view, you can display the uh, information like uh, from to uh, subject date, and you can fetch just the headers. You don't have to fetch the whole body. So it should work pretty good like this. So moving on, uh, that's the mailbox project. You can use it in your apps to to map things to mailboxes and messages. Uh, it's used by the James server, which is the flagship of the Apache James project. Uh, James server actually uh, binds all the all the pieces together, and uh, it builds into an email server that uh, knows IMAP, SMTP, POP3, and uh, can store e your email messages into HBase or uh, data, another database, a relational database. Uh, it's pretty easy to work with. You just download, unpack, basic config, and then you're ready to, to send emails with it. Um, this is a simplified schema of uh, simplified architecture. Uh, James server is actually uh, developed using uh, Spring, so it's uh, all com all our components, all the libraries are actually beans in the Spring configuration. So you can uh, you can disable them uh, if you like, or uh, replace them with uh, your own implementations. And uh, for example, when a message comes from the SMTP server, it's uh, sent into the spool, which is file-based or a, a GM, a Java message uh, system, sorry. Uh, from this, we have a working uh, thread pool, which uh, takes uh, email messages from the spool and uh, processes, them, processes them. The mail processor is based on uh, those are actually mailets, and mailets decide what happens to the the message after it it gets processed. We have a remote delivery mailet that uh, will deliver the mailet to another uh, SMTP server uh, that serves uh, some other domains. Uh, if the message is error or spam, it will get stored into error spam uh, folders, and if it's uh, served by us by the, our domain, we we store it into our uh, own. Uh, storage, mail store. Uh, it uses user and domain a component to store users and domain, and also we see the IMAP, com IMAP component that accesses the mail store to uh, serve emails to users. So, uh, how to scale James? Well, there are a few ways. Uh, if you want to store the mail store, you can use uh, JPA implementation with sharding. I'm not pretty good with that. Uh, also, JCR mailbox with clustering, if it's possible. And oh, also, you, you can use the HBase mailbox implementation. And uh, you'll get replicate, replication and uh, a, lot of good, a lot of scale with uh, this implementation. If you want to scale processing, if you have extensive uh, email processing, for example, you can use uh, gray matter, which is uh, ACA and uh, the mailet uh, e uh, integration. Or you can use uh, multiple James instances. Uh, I don't know if someone uses this but uh, to access the same mail store, but uh, it has some requirements that are, uh, I'm working on. For example, you need uh, a uh, distributed mailbox locking and distributed uh, message UID generation for that. And uh, there, there's actually pretty easy to implement using Zookeeper. Uh, I did mailbox, uh, mailbox U, uh, distributed UID generation and I'm working with mailbox locking. So this should be available pretty soon. Um, the title of the, the talk is More Than Emails in the Cloud. So this is what I, what I want to talk about. The idea is that this is a, a basic email. So we have a from line, a to, a date, and a body. The, the upper part are message headers. So you can add your custom headers, and you can process them. But actually, it's pretty simple. And uh, as you can see, you can map this to, to a lot of things. 
that are there and probably you haven't th thought about implementing as a, a mailbox system. So for example, Twitter could be uh, mapped somehow as a mailbox. When you have all the sent messages into the sent mail, mail, mailbox, you have your f followers uh, who have subscribed to your sent mailbox. You have your uh, people, the people who you follow, who uh, are uh, your subscriptions to the subscriptions to the mailboxes uh, that you 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 follow. And as you can see here, uh, Twitter is uh, telling us that uh, we might be interested in uh, some people who are similar to us. So I think this is basically machine learning on mailboxes, which uh, storing them uh, in uh, age base, uh, it, it's very easy to do because uh, we can use Mahout or other technologies to do this at scale. Another example is, for example, Facebook. Uh, some pages in Facebook had the subscribe uh, link that you could uh, click to follow some of the the articles, uh, and as you can see, this is actually an article and uh, a bunch of people replying to to that, and you can save them easily and you can map them easily to a mailbox. And if you noticed uh, how Facebook works, it actually uh, subscribes you like automatically to a, a specific mailbox if you if you reply to that uh, page or content. So uh, this is actually my talk. I think this is the final slide. As final notes, respect the firefighters because they, they do a hard job. And uh, thank you. If you have questions or yeah, thank you for I'll the int here. interesting talk. Thank we you. have two minutes left. Raise your hand if you have a question. Oh, sorry. I am. Uh, I must. I must admit that I didn't fully understand the last two slides. Uh, do you have some Facebook or Twitter integration with James, or how? Can uh, no, I no, no, no. Uh, I was planning to write a demo application that uses mm -hmm. uh, the <coughs> Apache James uh, mailbox, one of the mailbox implementations, to, mm -hmm. for example, show you how you can store uh, comments on a page uh, in the mailbox. But I didn't have enough time. Mm. But for example, you, if you look at Discuss and try to see, you know Discuss is the, the company website that uh, allows you to, to integrate comments into your own web pages. Mm -hmm. So if you look at them, they allow you to basically comments, uh, when someone comments mm. on, uh, on your website, you receive an email and you can reply via email. So I imagine they, they have something uh, like this when each page, it's, a, it's mapped to a mailbox and you have a lot of users that uh, when they comment on that page, it's actually they send an email to that uh, uh, mailbox mm -hmm. somehow. So if you get replies in that mailbox, uh, do I make myself understand, or ah, we okay. can talk mm -hmm. uh, details? I understand a bit. Uh, one quick additional question: um, uh, One user can have several mailboxes, but how does uh, James uh, match which email gets to which uh, mailbox? Or can I um, well, imagine the mailboxes as folder, like folders in a normal mailbox? It uses the subscriptions, <laughs> so you define a mailbox. The mailbox ID is used in the messages to a uh, table okay. mm, as a I, prefix. So yeah. you have mm. uh, you group all the messages into one mailbox by prefixing mm. them with the you the the ID of the mailbox, and then you have the subscriptions table where you list for a user you list all the mailboxes that uh, it it's subscribed to. Mm. Okay, that's clear. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much for your talk. Thank you. Yeah.